All right, hover flood. Let's do this. Well, that was eventful. Uh, hey guys, it's VMK89, and in this episode we're going to be taking on Bowser. So, um, I'm going to use this door here to magically warp there. Alright, so here we are, the staircase. And, um, so in the last episode we did a ton of secrets, and so we're just going to go ahead and head off to Bowser. So, um... You're probably noticing that I'm actually playing as Mario. I decided to go ahead and use Mario for the final boss fight. Um, it is possible to play play as Luigi. I showed this off in the last episode. If you didn't actually watch it um, at the end of the last episode, um, but I decided, you know, it's a Mario game. It makes sense to play as Mario. Nintendo would never let Luigi play the final boss of a Mario game. Yeah. Definitely. Anyway, um, so there are red coins in this castle, as you can tell. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Um, it's also one of the longest levels in the game, um, and I mean it. This thing is huge. It can take up to a half hour to complete, and considering the red coins, it takes a lot more than that. Um, so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be uh, going... Basically what you got to do here is, in this first room... To move on to the next part, yes, there's a star coin there, we'll require that later. Uh, you have to go ahead and um, unlock this cannon, which requires two keys. Um, and the keys are spread out throughout uh, all four of the rooms. They're at each corner of this level, or of this room right here. And there's another one in the lower section. And two other ones matching it um, on the other sides. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start down here and go ahead and go clockwise since that makes the most sense. And go ahead and turn my music down a bit. Um, yeah, so so it, it's a Bowser's Castle. You, you'd really expect a challenge for one thing and and, and death, as another thing. But, uh, uh, also there's fails. Lots and lots of fails. Uh, let's see, right here you gotta grab this metal star and quickly run out of, over here because it only lasts a couple of... Crap, 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 You have to hurry and land on this platform here, rather than missing it completely. Um... Because it doesn't last much longer than a second. Uh, yay, one up. Uh, there are actually a lot of one ups you can get throughout this castle um, in the form of one up mushrooms and in the many, many, many coins. Alright, so here's our first key. Um, there's three more like it. You only need two, like I said, but um, you actually, there's actually red coins. Stupid boobs. There's red coins in every single room, so if you're trying to 100% the game, you're definitely going to want to get those. Stop killing me! Oh my gosh! I hate these boobs. Why do they have to move? Okay. Uh, there's a second red coin, which you can get without falling, but it's kind of tricky to do. Obviously, since I can't do it. It must be extremely hard to do. Yeah. I'm definitely awesome. 
like that. And you are definitely going to want to grab this invincibility star, whether you're trying to get the, all the star coins or not. Um, because, uh, for one thing, it is impossible to beat it without the um, invisi star. Come on, Mario. Uh, but there is the star coin in the main room. I showed it off a little bit ago. Um, so you want to hurry on over here. Before the timer runs out, I actually did this really well. It's not even flashing yet. Um, but yeah. Lava doesn't do any damage to me when I'm invisible, for whatever reason. I don't know. I'll take advantage of it. Okay, die. Okay, thank you. <sighs> okay. So, um, this is the second room here. This is more of a platforming based. Although the last one was also platforming based. So really, they're all platforming based. Yeah, they're all platforming based. This entire castle is platforming based. Okay, so we got flames coming up here. As well as Goombas. Um... So let's see, what else is there that I should point out? Oh my gosh! Falling platforms! That's what I should point out. Oh gosh! Oh jeez, I'm low on health. Um, let's, let's make it a policy to not die. I don't know, that sounds like a good idea. There's a heart right up there. Uh, there's a little gimmick coming up here. That's close. Be careful here, because you can get crushed by the thwomps into the lava, and you will die. Um, let's see. The sign here tells you that... Did you know that flames or lava makes you bounce up really high? Hmm. No. Definitely didn't know that. Anyway, what you have to do is just jump right up into it. It's, it's sort of self-explanatory. Here's our second key, which will unlock the cannon to reach the upper story, but uh, we are getting all the right coins, so I'm going to have to do that. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. I sort of saw that come. And, and, and not that, though. I do <laughs> Okay, so, so speaking of death, um, it's definitely recommended to uh, go to uh, Secret of the Mushroom before attempting this, um, and getting at least, probably at least uh, eight lives stocked up, uh, if you're not too great at platforming, a lot more than that. Um, as you can see, I'm actually having trouble here. They do feed you one-ups in the castle, though, which is nice. Yep, there's that cannon that unlocked. So now we're gonna head up to uh, door number three. Up here on the upper left. Alright, I got another one-up. So this one's purely platforming and definitely one of the easiest. Um, they give you a ton of blue coins and even a heart. So I kind of wish they would have put some of these blue coins in the harder levels or in the harder rooms, but whatever. Maybe this one was the hardest room and so we put in a bunch of blue coins and stuff to make it easier. I guess that's probably what it was. Um, there's our third key. And we also have five red coins. The last, or two more, are in the last room. But um, we'll be getting into the last one in a bit. It's actually not all that hard to find. So yeah, y you wouldn't believe it, but this is actually the fourth time I'm recording this, and 
that's not including the old LP, the crappy one from the, the first one I did. That, that really, really sucked. Ooh, Starcoin. But yeah, I had a bunch of failed recordings. Ooh, there's our key. Wait, this can't be right. This is too. Oh gosh. Can we end up here? Where there's bookcases and cave and and now snow and a toad trapped. Hmm. That might be useful. Um. We'll see if he has anything for us. Yes, Hmm. So at this point, all you've really got a choice to do is to grab the Invisa Star and talk to this toad. And it turns out that's exactly what we wanted him to do. Yes! I've been trapped in Bowser's Secret Lab for three whole years. I'm finally rescued! Holy cow! Bowser was just about to experiment on me! I'm so glad I could get away before I get mutated! Here, give me some of your invisibility cap, and I'll be able to walk through these bars. And, uh, 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 oh gosh, do you watch invincibility? Well, oh well, I can still get out of here! Oh, and before I get, there was an invisible platform here all along. Goodbye. I'm pretty sure I don't want to ever try that voice again. It was interesting. So, uh, with this, uh, new platform, we can go ahead and grab our six star coin, and then use these penguins to slowly bounce across this level. Whoa! That was really awesome. Uh, there, there is a platform down there that, that would be the more intelligent way to get there, but I, I bounced off the lava, so there. Oh gosh. Well, well, that worked, so. So yeah, uh, this is actually Bowser's Secret Lab. And real quick, I'm gonna fall back down here and point out that uh, these Goombas here, you'll notice, have a red tint to them. Um, which my theory on these oh my gosh my theory on this is that Bowser has been experimenting on Goombas to make them stronger and he went ahead and made fire resistant Goombas and that's why they're tinted red they actually pop up more one up in this uh, castle so that's what makes me think that they're experiments that's why you don't see them in Lisa Lava Land or anything but anyway, as you can probably tell at this point, it's just a whole bunch of um, various settings. I guess Bowser's trying to figure out what would be the best enemy placement for these different settings. Um, you know, what kind of power-ups to put in the coin box. Here's our key. And uh, this coin here, actually what you're going to need is a rocket flood. And um, if you came in here using the cheat by launching with the rocket flood from the main room, like I showed in the last episode, um, you can actually use that rocket flood right here to get this star coin without having to backtrack from later on. But it's actually not much of a backtrack, so I'll, I'll be doing it um, in the next episode because right now I'm going to be finishing this off here. By grabbing the last star coin, which is right over here, and that's a one up. Woo! It just point the cannon straight upwards, and your shine appears straight below us. <laughs> Random blue bill falls down because you know that's 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 what makes sense. Um. And there's our shine. So that's actually not too rough, but still pretty hard. And uh, with that, I'm actually going to be ending this episode off here. In the next episode, I'm going to meet you guys by the cannon 
with two keys, um, and I'll have it unlocked, um, so that we can move on with the rest of the castle. Uh, so see you guys then. Super Mario Bros. Woo!